Hello, how are you? I am Katina. I'm with the East Central Regional Arts Council. And I thought I would just put together a quick tutorial on how to set up an account with the East Central Regional Arts Council so that you can enter the Image Art Show. Um, I'll just walk you through where to find a few things and then I'm going to run through um, what it looks like to create a new account as an individual artist. So what you can see now here, what I'm sharing is our website at ecrac.org. Hopefully you have made it to this point and you are at our website and you've clicked on this link to watch my video. Um, so here you see we're on the homepage for ECRAC. There are multiple things to find on our website. And if you even scroll down, you'll see we are a grant funder. So our main focus is offering grant funds for artists, for art projects, and for other organizations to also complete art projects through grants. So you can find the grants that we have available for artists like yourself or for organizations. So maybe you are part of an organization and you're working on an art project. So you could find a grant that might be uh, helpful for an art project. We also have upcoming events um, here on our homepage, we have an entire separate page for upcoming events. So that's something that might be interesting to you to see what might be happening within our region um, for art classes and arts events. And if you are an artist and you are part of an art event, you are welcome to add your art event to this grant calendar. So you'll find that here under the Art and Community tab for ECREC Arts events. But what I'm gonna focus on today is um, the Image Art Show. So let me just click, click to that page on our website. So here's where you'll find information about our current 2024 Image Art Show. It is the 37th year of Image. Can you believe it's been around so long? Um, but we are just as excited for this one as we have been for all of the past Image Art Shows. So in order to enter Image, we are using a new I guess, website to get entries uh, submitted. It's the same website that we use for artists who are entering to apply for a grant with us. So if you are an artist who is going to apply for a grant in the future, this is the same website that you'd set up a login to use to, to apply for a grant. But we are also using it for people to enter the Image Art Show. So in order to, it, we do have a tutorial here. If you don't want to listen to this whole video, um, you can also follow along uh, with this chart and it has step one, two, three, four, five to get you uh, into the, the grand portal. If you are unable to apply online, we also have off, um, a, a paper copy that we can mail if you request, or you can download that entry form here and mail it to us. Uh, however, the easiest way to enter image is to click on this link here. It will take you to the website where you can enter image. We call this our grant portal because we are a grant funder. Um, you'll see when you hit this page that there is a login where your email and password goes. So once you create that login for yourself, you'll always use the same login to get back into our grant portal or our entry page for image. Um, so you can just enter your email address and password and hit that log on button. If you're new, um, or well, or if you forgot your password, you can also reset your password here if needed. Maybe it's been a while since you've used our, our portal. Um, otherwise, what I'm going to focus on right now is creating a new account. So if you've never been to this um, website before, you'll hit the create a new account button. And you'll see that it unfortunately is geared towards organizations. Um, we realize that you are not an organization or may not be, you're an artist yourself. So um, if you'll just notice under the organization name, it does also state that you want to enter your last name if you're an individual artist. So that's what I'm going to do here. My last name is Eklund, so I'll put that in. I am not an organization, so I don't have an EIN number or a tax identification number. So Again, if you'll notice underneath in the small print, of course, in small print, it says enter NA if applying as an individual artist. So that's what I'm going to do here. I don't have a DUNS number. I'm skipping that. I don't have a website. I'm skipping that. If you do have a website, feel free to put it in here. Um, you don't have to put your social media sites here. Just uh, if you do have a website, that's the best um, play, best to enter in that spot. Telephone number. I'm going to use my, my number at work, 320-336-0200. Organization email. Now I am using a 
dummy email. So please do not use this email to contact us. I'm only using this as a temporary to uh, show you the process to enter. So I'm going to use grants at org. If you do need to contact uh, us about your entry form or questions about image, you can email image at ecrac.org or also grant info at ecrac.org would also work. Uh, our mailing address is 540 Weber Avenue, Suite 109. Um, oh, here it's auto. For some reason, it's auto uh, um, filling my actual email address. Uh, let's see, I'm going to copy my physical address and mailing address is the same. So I'm just going to copy and paste that right there. Our office is located in Hinkley, Minnesota. Wait, am I spelling that right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hinkley, Minnesota, zip code 55037. All right, and then I'm gonna hit the next button and it brings us to a next series of questions. Okay, I do realize it does ask for some repeat information here, but look at this copy address from organization. I'm gonna do that. And it put it did fill in my address information. So um, back up to salutation. I am a Ms. I'm gonna put that. You can put Mrs., Mr., uh, whatever works for you here. Um, my first name is Katina, again, last name Eklund. Business title, I'm skipping suffix and business title because I don't need that here. I'll use that same fake email, so. And I'm going to confirm that is, oops, oh my gosh. Of course, you know when you're typing in front of someone, you always mess up. <laughs> I'll use that same email address, 320, or telephone number, 336-0200. This is our office number. So if you do need to call us at the office, that is the number, 320-336-0200. I'm putting the same telephone number in both places because I don't have a separate mobile. And my mailing address has automatically been filled in because I clicked that copy button. Now, okay, so are you the organization's executive officer? Yes, I am. Here it says, if applying as an individual, answer yes below. So that's what I'll do. Click on the yes button. And business title, I'm going to skip this too because I don't, I don't have a business title as an artist. All right, so I'm going to create a password. Whoops, let's see. Uh, passwords are always... Tough to come up with sometimes, right? You got to have an individual, unique password, all the things. All right. So now I've set that up and you can check to make sure that uh, this worked, that you got your email um, email confirmation, which I can see that I just got that. So I'm going to click this. I have received the email and hit continue. And this brings you into your new dashboard for uh, your login to um, hopefully maybe apply for a grant in the future, but today to apply to enter the image art show. So it is um, it is not a juried show. So if you enter your artwork into the show here, you are in. Um, the When I mentioned too that you can go back and reuse this login to get back into for future, you'll notice this, I'm clicking on the house because that brings you to your dashboard, we call it. And any active requests or historical requests are going to live here. So once you enter the image art show under active requests, you'll see your entry form here. Uh, once the image art show has passed and it's over, we'll close all of those entry forms and it'll live here under your historical requests. So you can see past image art shows that you've entered. Um, or you can hit on this apply button. This is where we always put grants that are your, um, once our grant applications are open to apply, they live here on this apply page. So you'll see we have right now a resiliency grant for artists and arts organizations that we're accepting applications for currently. When we have other grants available, we will have them on this page so you can apply in the future. But right now, when you wanna apply for image, you'll just hit this little apply button and it'll, um, bring you to the application. When you hit that submit button, um, it comes to us and we'll have your application. You do get an email sent to you as well when you hit the submit button. That 
email will let you know information about when you can drop off your artwork, when you need to pick up your artwork, when the award ceremony is, talks about the um, the award amounts that we'll be giving out. We do have some judges that will be giving awards during the Image Art Show, and we'll have that presentation on Saturday at two o'clock during the show. Um, so we really look forward to seeing your artwork and seeing you in person. Um, we hope that you can enter, and um, if you do have questions, please reach out to us. Hopefully this has been helpful, and um, let's see, I'm going to stop my share here. Again, my name is Katina. You can also reach out to Kelly. She's our image art show manager. She's the one who um, you'll get to if you email image at ecrec.org. So hope you guys have a great day. And again, I can't wait to see your art. Happy art making.